Amanil Kumar. In this video, we'll understand another strategy to prove trigonometric identities. And we call that strategy is rationalization. Well, the question before us is, explore strategies to prove 1 minus cos x divided by cos x equals to cos x over 1 plus sin x. Now, rationalization. How does it work? You know, what is a square minus b square equals to? Well, a square minus b square is a plus b times a minus b. So what we get here is that if I multiply sum and difference, I get difference of squares. And that's the strategy which helps us to solve many trigonometric equations and solve rather prove trigonometric identities. Now along with this, we use the Pythagorean identity, right? I should write trigonometric Pythagorean identity, which is uh, sine square x plus cos square x equals to 1. So these two strategies will be applied in our proof for the given question, right? So what we really have here is 1 minus sine x divided by cos x equals to cos x over 1 plus sine x. So let's begin with the left side which is 1 minus sine x over cos x. Now, if you see, right side has got 1 plus sine x. So we can rationalize the numerator, 1 minus sine x. That means multiply by its conjugate. So 1 minus sine x conjugate is 1 plus sine x. Do you see that? It is like a minus b times a plus b, right? So we applied this method. So we'll multiply and divide by 1 plus sine x. Exactly same terms, multiplying by 1 makes no difference, right? Now when you multiply a minus b times a minus b, you get a square minus b square, which in this case is 1, 1 square is 1, minus sine square x, correct? And denominator will be cos x times 1 plus sine x. Now what is 1 minus sine square x? 1 minus sine square x is cos square x. So we could write this as cos square x over cos x times 1 plus sine x. Now as you can observe, one of the cos x can be cancelled. And what we get here is cos x in the numerator and 1 plus sine x in the denominator. That is what we wanted. That is the right side. So we have proven that left side is equal to right side. And a very simple, effective strategy is to rationalize. So that is how you can do some questions related to trigonometric identities. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.